This is Bob and Helen, my brother, lived in Wichita for many, many years. She started a little gift shop up there for a period of time. This is Missouri River at Atchison and taken from St. Benedict's College, Riverbank. It's a monastery, this building. And it's over some old quarries and there's always 56 degrees below it and they pump cool air up there during the summer for half for many years. Automatic air conditioning. This is Beth's and Ernie. And Ernie's son, Evan and Martha, and there's mom, Nancy and Beth's sister, Lola, who I played with on a, uh, as a kid. I think it was the occasion of my older brother Evan's funeral. We obviously thought Nancy was quite cute. I think, uh, as I recall, we got the camera uh, in anticipation of her birth. We sure used up a lot of film on her. There she is with Mom Pitt. Yeah, she was posed in all her finery. This old porch swing we've still got in our backyard at this date of recording. Here's Nancy with her bath in the kitchen sink. There's an old fire truck at Atchison and Jackson Park. And the kids climbed on and played on it for years, but they destroyed it. It's really a shame because it was belonged in a museum. But I imagine it's just junk now. That's my grandfather's monument. Here's Kerford Quarry. It's under the old monastery I mentioned. There's Atchison High School where Paul went for most of his schooling years. The old home at 315 North Terrace, Atchison, which is, my mother was born there and Paul was born there and lived for many, many years. This is the back porch, the old cistern there. I had the job when I was a kid of going out every day and pumping water up. This is Evan and Bess's store on uh, Commercial Street in Atchison. That's the main street in Atchison. And uh, that's a courthouse. I don't know who all these kids are. There's Martha holding Nancy. Bobby in a bucket. This is our new red 1955 Buick. We were mighty proud of that. It was an oil hog, but it was basically a good car, and we put 100,000 miles on it. Perfect for trips. Kids getting back and go to sleep and stretch out and play back there. And we, uh, we really enjoyed it. There's neighbor kids with Rick, and Nan, and Bobby. Here's Martha in the pool at Forest Park. We didn't particularly like to go there, but it was handy because the guards, every time you sat down, they'd yell at you, and you couldn't do this and couldn't do that. But uh, we did go there. I don't know whether they're the same nowadays or not. There's Martha. I don't think she liked me taking that picture of her, but I did. 
This is Aunt Gladys, old Oldsmobile. Here we're probably uh, Easter finery again. There's Aunt Gladys and uh, Cherry. Nancy, I'm holding her. We're all a little thinner in those days. And there's Mom Pitt holding Nancy. We still lived in Selkirk in Westcliff. Yeah, Prissy Bridges on Nancy. We made quite a to do over her. Here we are at the beach at the Eagle Mountain, I think. We couldn't keep Nan out of the water. She uh, really had to watch her. We used to go to Eagle Mountain quite often. It was a very nice beach. We'd have picnics there. We used to have trouble with Bobby. He'd go to the beach and he'd run away, and we'd have to chase him down. He'd just disappear. But I think here's Bobby that's coming home for his first day at school in Westcliff. He is quite proud of it. That was uh, the old horse on the door there. And here's Nancy. Tippy toads trying to get into something. She got into all the drawers she could find. Here she's taking her bath. I think she's in the bathtub at this time. Showing off. This camera had extremely bright lights and caused the kids to squint quite a bit. Here are the bodies in the back of the Buick. They play and go to sleep back there and here's Nancy unsure of her steps but she uh, finally learned how to walk and here she's making quite a job of feeding her face and all kids she got more on the floor and in her hair and she did in her mouth but she got over it yeah she's a little sure of her walk now and uh, just a little older here's Christmas 1956 Bobby and his gun. I presume it was just a pop gun. The old musical chair again. It lasted for through three kids. And there's Martha and Jane, Cherry, Bobby, Mrs. Pitt opening her present. We always played tricks on her. There's Aunt Gladys, Nancy. We'd, we'd put Mrs. Pitt's present in a great big box and turned out to be just some small little jewel or something. And Nancy all dolled up. She couldn't quite trust her walking yet. So she always reverted back to the crawl.
Here's Nancy in her sweet pea gown and her hair rolled up. We were always amused at her with her running around that little gown and her rear sticking out. I presume one of these kids is Nancy, but I don't know where it was. Looks like it's on a beach somewhere. It could have been at Eagle Mountain or Possum Kingdom. We took frequent trips to each lake or even Galveston. But I think Nancy found a playmate. Looks like it's a little wintry. Here's Rick, uh, his boy scout, and Nancy dolled up. And this is when we moved to 1058 Gibson Road in View Park. There's Bobby showing off his bike prowess. Evidently, he's been riding a while. And he's uh, quite good at it. Here's Rick with his Boy Scout uniform. And Nancy found her a pet bug and she's quite intrigued with. she got a pair of them now. At that age, every time she'd do anything, we'd pick up the camera. Here's the quarries of Atchison again. We love to go in them. There's Mom and myself and, and the kids. There's a river dredge at Atchison. They have to constantly work on a the river there. It silts up. And they have gigantic sand piles that I delighted in playing on when I was a kid. There's Nancy on a merry-go-round at, I presume, at Forest Park, in the swing. Yeah, there's the Missouri River bottoms at Atchison. It's some of the richest land on earth over there. Just the topsoil is many, many feet deep. There's a bridge at Atchison. There's lots of trees. It's a beautiful country. Here's Nancy on a railing at the old house. I have a memory myself of my mother tying me to that railing. I presume I ran away some. Here's a dam at Texoma. We drove up there and camped in the trailer. And we were amazed that these fishermen down there, they'd opened the dam and the spillway, and the fishermen were just catching fish just in droves. But I was never a fisherman, so we didn't uh, try to get a hook in the water. We were quite impressed with the dam. Here's Nancy making snow ice cream. She wasn't going to wait around to put sugar and milk in it. I don't know where that was. It might have been Atchison. We went up there one trip and it was near zero and we didn't stay very long. It was just bitter cold. And Nancy's a sleeping beauty.